Hey y'all, come with me to Big League Weekend here at the Las Vegas Ballpark. Still home of the Las Vegas Aviators, but this weekend things are a little different. Tonight we have the Oakland A's hosting the Milwaukee Brewers. For those who don't know, Big League Weekend is an annual event here at the Las Vegas Ballpark during the same time as spring training, so it definitely gives off spring training vibes. Let me just start off by saying it is so good to be back. Pro tip, coming through the center field gates, parking is a lot easier and then you get that awesome view of the field. First things first, before we forget, getting our passports stamped. My good friend Carrie and I, AKA Stadium Chasing Halo, ran straight to the team store. Okay, it is starting to fill up quickly, so let's get in line for food. For this weekend, Chef Gary and his team put out the Milwaukee dog and the LVA's dog. So that's what we're doing tonight. My other good friend Jody is meeting up with us here as well. She got us some cocktails while waiting. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. It is such a game changer seeing them grill up these hot dogs in front of you. And here it is, the one and only Milwaukee dog. A beer brat topped with sauerkraut, cheese curds, and mustard. Of course, we're having both specialty dogs from tonight. So with that, we are also having the LVA's dog. Okay, starting with the Milwaukee dog because I saw cheese curds and wasted no time. And oh my goodness, this literally takes me to Milwaukee and back. I can imagine that this is what all of Milwaukee tastes like on top of one hot dog or in this case a beer brat which is so fitting basically a milwaukee native after biting into this wow one of the most perfect themed dogs i've ever tried okay next up we have the lva's dog which is a sausage topped with grilled onions potatoes and a specialty mustard potatoes hot dogs and grilled onions in the same bite you can't go wrong another year another souvenir cup with the lemonade of course by the one and only churchill container on our way back to our seats now but then there was something on the grill on third menu that I've never tried. The garlic parmesan truffle waffle fries. Oh my gosh, they smelled like heaven. And they look so crispy. Yum! Waffle fries topped with garlic, parmesan cheese, truffle oil, and a garlic aioli. POV, five-star dining. Those truffle fries at that one steakhouse here in Las Vegas, won't name it, but doesn't even matter. Not even my favorite truffle fries anymore. And absolutely no ketchup needed. That garlic aioli covers all bases. Yes, we missed home runs here at the Las Vegas ballpark. <laughs> Unfortunately, it wasn't enough, and the home team, aka the Oakland A's, did lose this one. It feels so good to be back. First time back this season, the stadium is like home. I can never get enough of this stadium, so much so that we are back for day two of Big League Weekend. There's also a mini fan fest going on for the Oakland A's, and look who we ran into today, y'all. Chef Roger and Chef Gary getting some content for their themed hot dogs this weekend, which we just tried yesterday. So good, by the way. Um, Also, is that Jose Canseco? Of course, we're gonna get in line for autographs and now in line for more food today we are starting off with the grand slam sammy i have done this before but it's been a while so why not do it again uh, and here it is the grand slam sammy everything you love about las vegas nestled into a sandwich I say that because las vegas is kind of like the prime rib capital of the world everywhere you look there's a prime rib special at every casino in town so this is perfect hand carved prime rib topped with caramelized onions a colorful giardinera and drizzled with a dijon aioli and a horseradish cream all in between between a lightly toasted bun. This concession stand always has a line and for good reason. Next up and not too far behind home plate is where you can find all things souvenir helmet nachos. And today I'm going with the Elote souvenir helmet nachos. It's been a while since I've had any nachos out of a helmet and I love Elote anything, so this is perfect. Also noting that these are vegetarian and gluten-free. Tortilla chips topped with nacho cheese, pico de gallo, jalapenos, Sour cream, guacamole, tajin, and of course, elote. Oh, yes. Okay. <laughs> well. <laughs> you need a napkin for that one, bub. Wow. Thank you. <laughs> It's not every day that I eat my nachos with elote, tajin, and lime, but that is definitely about to change. Quick high noon break before we go and find more food, of course. Okay, so when we came in through the center field gates, I noticed barbecue, which I'd never seen before. The food's by a restaurant actually located here in Las Vegas called Off the Hook Barbecue. Today I'm going with their tri-tip sandwich and a side of corn. They were out of mac and cheese or else I would have added that as a side as well. Right when you open the sandwich, you are hit with the most incredible 
incredible smell of smokiness and seasonings. Ugh, and the toasted bun is just such a good touch every single time. And I don't know if the spiciness is coming from the use of seasonings or from the sauce, but I love it. I love spicy anything. Ugh, and that kick from the sandwich goes so well with this corn. There's a little bit of creaminess and a small kick from jalapeno pieces in here as well. What's a weekend here at the ballpark full of food without dessert? And is it even dessert if it's not coming from Leah Lana's bananas? You love her spot here in Las Vegas, but now she has her own cart here at the Las Vegas ballpark. With two options between frozen bananas and frozen cheesecake, I'm going with the frozen cheesecake. Dipped in dark chocolate, coated with peanuts, coconut, and drizzled with a marshmallow cream. I was kind of going for an Almond Joy flavor. Bananas, banana pudding, cheesecake, you can't go wrong. Another home run here at the Las Vegas ballpark. This weekend has been so perfect. Oh! note today was a little better for the home team as the Oakland A's did win this game. It's always a fun weekend with friends, baseball, and stadium food. The season hasn't even officially started yet and I'm so excited. So as always, please let us know what we should try next.